Hello happy campers, I am back today with another audition video explanation thingamajiggy. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about the Monologue Slam UK auditions. Um, for those of you who don't know a little bit about the Monologue Slam, it's essentially um, a free showcase for um, actors, performers. Basically the format is you audition to go through to a showcase um, which is in front of audience members, uh, industry professionals and a panel of judges. Judges? 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 Oh my god, that's that's a real challenge of a word for a lispy person. Huh. What it kind of does, I suppose, is give you another route into the industry which isn't, you know, campaigning for years and years to get a uh, agent or um, going to drama school and spending thousands on that. Um, yeah, it's just another way to get in front of industry professionals and to um, possibly get sort of snatched up. Another great focus of the Monologue Slam is um, it specialises in diversity, so really getting a wide range of people into the profession. Um, I think this is this is something that is amazing because obviously you know you look at a lot of different industries but especially performance and acting and in front of and behind camera there's still an incredible amount of lack of diversity if that makes sense. So to give a sort of platform where people from all walks of life, all ages, all varying degrees of experience can come and can audition for a chance to uh, be part of this showcase is I think an amazing idea. Um, okay so on to the format of the day. You get to the Theatre Royal in Stratford East um, and it's good to be there, well they want you to be there 15 minutes early but as you've seen from my other videos I like to get there unfathomably early. This time I got there a little too unfathomably early and I was there at I think about half ten and my audition wasn't actually until 12 o'clock so don't make that mistake, that's not good. Anyway, so I got there and I actually went into their cafe, um, had a coffee um, and I was speaking to a lot of the people who were auditioning Everyone's so friendly, the staff are friendly, the other people who are auditioning, it's not, there's nothing drama schooly about it. So when it's your turn, they'll get you to fill out a couple of bits of paper to say what you're going to be doing, uh, what your name is, that sort of thing. And then they'll take you through to what is a rehearsal room at the theatre. Um, then you sort of, it's an audition where you do it in front of everyone else, which again, if you've seen my other videos, I personally love. I think it just makes it more relaxed, it means it's more friendly, it's, yeah, it's just nicer. Um, so yeah, the panel is sitting at the back of the room, and then everyone's sitting here, and what they get you to do is to say whether in the actual slam whether you would like to do a one minute or a three minute monologue. I actually wanted to do a three minute monologue but for the audition process because there are such a large amount of people who are auditioning they get you to do just a one minute snippet of your piece. Now uh, for me I actually chose a piece that I have been auditioning for uh, drama school with and it is really a two to three minute piece, so it meant that I had to shorten it down to one minute. Um, I can't pretend that that didn't sort of stress me out, but it, it did because I was trying to make sure it made sense, but at the same time make sure, you know, it had the poignant parts in it and all of this sort of thing. So I was a little bit worried about whether I was going to do the best performance in a minute. But what I would say, and having spoken to a couple of the other people there on the day, is that it's a good skill to have really, because what with the way things are going at the moment, you know, viewing times, tension spans, everything, you need to be able to grab someone's attention in a very short space of time. And because it's such a competitive industry, it is a really good skill to be able to have and to come on and to just go gotcha in a minute. So I'd say that although it's it's a little hard, you know, if you're used to sort of working into a monologue or something like that, you need to really hit the ground running. But um, I think it's a good skill to have. 
So um, yeah, you get called out in just a random order. Um, it's really nice. Everyone claps when you stand up. Everyone claps when you finish. Really, really chilled. The one thing that might throw you a bit is that obviously to keep everyone on track, there is a timer. So the guy at the back just had um, his iPhone and he presses go like when you start talking and then there'll be an alarm that sounds after a minute and you just stop and sit down. Um, it is a bit, it sounds a bit Simon Cowlish, but it's not, it's, you know, everyone gets the same amount of time, at least that way it's fair, it keeps it moving, they don't have to sit there for three years listening to everyone, um, and yeah, it's, it's a really nice process actually. So everyone finished their pieces, um, we had a brief, um, talking to by the uh, panel who sort of just said when we could expect a response, uh, what the next steps would be and how there are other routes to get into the uh, monologue Sam. Um, and then we all went home. Um, I really enjoyed it. I think that what I learned is definitely, as I was saying earlier, that it's an interesting way to look at my pieces and to sort of approach them in a different way, to approach auditions in a different way, you know. You do need to be able to grab people's attention, that's just the world we live in now. And I think it is a good way to learn, to adapt, to think about what pieces you choose. Um, for the monologue slam, you can actually write your own piece if you want. Now I kind of last minute applied, so I didn't have time really to be writing something. Um, and Maybe I would because it would be easier to write something especially for the one minute. But then at the same time, maybe I wouldn't because I do, I love plays and I love having that whole story around a character for me to build a character and present it. So uh, that is something that if you want to write or if you are a writer already, that maybe you'd want to consider. Um, so results, I should be hearing back um, I think this Friday, um, whether I got through to the final round or not. If not, then I'm still going to be going to watch the monologue slam because one, I think it's great to watch other actors. Um, you can learn so, so much. Two, I like to steal other people's monologues. I love watching other people do their monologues for inspiration. Um, and three, they have something which is called like a golden ticket. So on the night, you can put down your name and you can be put into a hat. And halfway through, they'll sort of pick a name out of the hat and that person will get a chance to do their monologue in the monologue slam. So that's another reason, another great reason to go. Um, also, they have sort of um, comedy and music and stuff like that on the night. So I just think it's a really, really great thing to go and watch. So yeah, so I should find out on Friday. So obviously, if it's a yes, I will let you know. If it's a no, I will still let you know. And um, fingers crossed, I guess. Okay, um, yeah, break a leg if you're going for the monologue slam. And let me know if you have any experiences, if you've been in the showcase round, or if you've done the audition, or if you've done it in any other locations and you've got any information about it, that'd be great. Um, subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up if it was helpful to you in any way. And that's all. Okay, bye.